every time you finish washing a load you got to take this device out and then empty the dust that gets collected in there you just gotta open it somewhere and then take out all like that dust sort of stuff out of the machine um, that was the only important instruction for the dryer okay I have to make a mention about the detergent whenever you're buying detergent it should be a what's called a low sud detergent or powder and uh, basically it needs to be that side load sort of like facing outward detergent and not the top load detergent because they're both different types of detergents and the top load detergent doesn't work very well in the front load detergent so look on the back of your detergent before you buy it to make sure that it's low sud and it's that front load taking detergent so the left the left one is for the detergent or the powder the middle one is for softener and the right one is not to be used and it's used only for very dirty oil heavy soiled dirt clothes that you put something in there the guy said set it to super speed for the normal wash um, temperature should be 40 rinse can be three uh, and in terms of quantity of liquid all you need to use is one cup the spin should be either 1200 or or 1400 with that you can press the start button you gotta set it to cotton first then press quick wash you would use quick wash only for a load that is less than 2 kg you use less powder and detergent if you're using quick wash if you have only one or two items that you just want to drain the water out of you can go to what's called rinse and spin uh, you don't need any detergent just softener and this just spins the machine to dry clothes without heat squeezes out water from the clothes uh, I was told I needed to press rinse button until there's no more rinse symbol okay that's that's basically just spinning the machine to dry the clothes and it doesn't use any heat whereas the dryer would use heat apparently this drawer needs to be opened out and cleaned once a week with a brush opened out means you can take the whole thing out I think but I'm not gonna do that now cause uh, here's another thing when you're taking clothes out of the machine here you have to remember to always take your clothes upwards is what the guy says because sometimes it can get hooked onto the rubber here and if it gets if your clothes get hooked onto the rubber they can tear the rubber the guy said um, after every wash we should clean the rubber with cloth right just take a piece of cloth and just like wipe the rubber down and uh, leave the door open to air dry the washing machine because otherwise if the door is left closed I think it starts to get a bit smelly and then you should close the drum this is called the drum door the drum door at night to avoid lizards uh, one last important thing if there is a blinking symbol somewhere around here It's right there. If you look very carefully, it's next to the it's like a it looks like a snare drum Unfortunately, my camera is not really giving the right focus if you see a random drum thing blinking You have to select here eco drum clean 
Eco drum clean, make sure the machine is empty, there doesn't need to be any detergent, uh, and then just press play. This is for cleaning the drum machine. If you see that sign, it means that the drum machine is dirty. That's it.